kilometres a day for the next five days because we only have a five day transit visa. Um, it's about 11 o'clock so we're starting really late and it's really hot. We've just camped uh, in a field on our way to Dushanbe. We've got a ride through the hills, which should be quite beautiful today. Really nice campsite, no scorpions, no disturbance, loads and loads of stars. We're just riding along beside uh, the river that acts as the border um, between Tajikistan and Afghanistan. We're about four days from Dushanbe, uh, heading to a town called, a small town called Korog, which is the beginning of the Pamir Highway. other Tajiks who apparently were responsible for a killing three days ago. Russian TV says a uh, hundred people have been killed and I think Tajik TV says 30 people have been killed. Last night when we had we had dinner up in the main family kitchen. <laughs> He said, if you leave now, it's better for you. Yesterday was a weird day. We found a really nice campsite and we had a good night. And we're now cycling as a group of ten. Pretty much all of the cyclists, well, all of the cyclists that were heading this to Kyrgyzstan from our hotel, we decided to stick together for a bit. just made it to the top of the highest pass we've done yet. We're <laughs> about seven, 60 kilometers from Murgab, uh, the last major well, small town in Tajikistan. We're now nowhere. We're in between Tajikistan and Kyrgyzstan. We're going to sleep here the night. Uh, so, yes, it's really cool. 
Bei Tadjikistan. Up concerning the tent. No, I not I This is how we get in the Yeah. The modern cars and shiny silver Mercedes kind of shatter the illusion of yurts and horses. But there's a yurt and some horses.